Hey guys, in this video, I'll show you how can you set up your own Google Cloud trial account with $300 free credit. If you are already trying to get the Google account, but you are getting some error while doing the payment, while set up the payment, or if you are set up the payment profile. So I'll show you how can you fix the error and get the Google Cloud trial account with $300 free. If you want to test your VPS server or RDP server, or if you want to host your web application, or if you want to host your website, if you want to start a storage services, so Google Cloud Trial is the best option for you because Google is providing us a $300 free credit for 90 days. So 90 days you can test your all the things and after that you can do and go for live. So let's get started and if you are new to my channel kindly hit the subscribe button and touch the bell icon so you never miss any update from me so let's get started so first of all you need to search google cloud free tier on google.com and you will see the first link try with 300 dollars click on get started for free and you need to log in your google account over here make sure it's not used it before to create the google cloud accounts click on not now and here you will need to select your country like i'm from india so i'm selecting india if you are from us canada hungary indonesia you can select it accordingly click on agree and continue but make sure it's uh, first uh, i'll show you they will provide you 300 dollars free credit all access to google products and no auto charge mean when your free trial is end they will ask you if you want to continue it for pay as you go and you want to exit it so it's completely up to you and click on agree and continue so now we need to create our payment profile here like if you are doing the first time so you need to create your payment profile so click on create new payment profile Pr click on profile type like if you want to do for organization or individual currently i'm doing for my organization so i need to enter my organization detail over here and a lot of people are getting some error while doing this, this process because of your address is completely wrong so when are you do, uh, doing that you need to search your address on google map and copy the same address and paste it over here because google can directly fetch your address and they will provide you the access when they can't find you google map or google search so they will not give you any access so create it and after that you need to add payment method like i'm using my credit card of hdfc bank like i'm from india so i am using the hdfc bank if you are from any other country so you can use it any visa or mastercard there is no issue okay so after that you need to click on start free and they will charge you something to verify your card is depend on country i am from india so they charge me two cent and if you are from like a us or canada they will charge you accordingly it's depend country to country okay after that they will check everything like your payment process is done they your address is completely visible on google map and google search once they will verify your all details after that they will give you the access of google cloud free tier because they want to make sure that you are a genuine person and not a robot or something else so currently they check the all process is done so after that they will provide me a google cloud free tier access so they will provide me a uh, 300 dollars for a uh, 90 days and here we need to describe our business currently i am doing that it depend on what business you are running and you can select it accordingly okay so currently i am doing for my business don't copy it just use it as you want so our account is currently fully activated now and i'm from india so i'm getting the 25000 indian rupees and if you are from us or canada or any other country they will provide you 300 dollars for free today is 24th may and it will expire on 23 august and we can create any products from google cloud let me show you the virtual machine or we call it vps or rdp so click on vm instance and click on create an instance we will create a rdp for a testing so first of all we need to rename it i'm using the my name is prince roy so i'm using my prince roy name and after that we need to select the reason if uh, you are from country like uh, doha qatar or singapore so you can select it accordingly currently i am from india so i am using indian server and i want to use the indian server 
okay so i'm currently using the delhi and there are three zones i can select it anyone now in machine configuration we will see the different option like journal purpose compute memory optimization storage optimization and gpu clouds gpu cloud are much costlier than normal cloud because they provide you a gpu access and it will cost you 244 dollar per month it's a huge amount so i don't suggest you to use it but if you want to use it it's completely up to you after that here are some presets you can use it currently i'm using the shared one if you want to go it for standard so you can use it but it will cost you more because if i'm going the standard one it will cost me a 60 dollar but if i'm going use the standard one so it will cost me around 30 dollar now we need to click it here and click on migrate vm instances it's recommended after that we need to select the boot disk image so currently it's the debian is selected by default so we can use the ubuntu or a windows operating system let me show you if you want to use the windows operating system it will cost you pay as you go because the window licensing is not free and like i'm show you if we can select any data server from here like i'm using the 2022 data server and this type i'm using ssd and storage is my 50 gb so here you will see the license type pay as you go means if you, even you are using the free trial you need to pay the 73 dollars to google because the microsoft licensing is not free and if you want to use it for free you can use debian or ubuntu it's completely up to you because ubuntu is the free licensing but in, if you are going for a windows it will charge you for the licensing and other things so that's why the windows operating system we need to use as pay as you go and other we can use it for free so currently i'm show you the window process how can you create it so license type is pay as you go and monthly we need to pay 73 dollars okay not a problem let's go for another things okay cancel it so scroll it down and we do not to change anything click on create and within few seconds they will provide you the access of the vps server okay it's a shared server it's a not a dedicated server or anything else so here are some details our server name zone internal ip and external ip for the connecting rdp and click on this icon and click on set password so you can rename the operating system name currently i'm using the prince Roy. click on set okay we can't use it because our instance name is same and copy the password and paste it over here okay so now we need to connect the rdp so first of all download the rdp file click on it and click on connect okay so currently they will show you the default user that they provide so we need to click on more choices and use a different account now we need to enter the username of that we created and after that we need to paste the password over here and click on ok and click on yes okay so our windows operating system with 2022 data server is now connected and we are using the virtual machine of windows operating system let me show you the system specification of this server so first of all we need to click it here and search about your pc so the description of the operating system is we will get the 2.2 gigahertz processor with 4 gb installed ram and windows 2022 data center if i show you the storage of the server we choose the 50 gb so currently the 20 gb is occupied for windows operating system because it's little bit heavy and 30 gb is free for using surfing and other other things so now we need to install the chrome or if we want to install any other software so we can install it without any issue because they provide us uh, administration permission so we can install any software let me show you the how can you download it and install it because of the permission so currently i am installing the google chrome setup let me show you it will download and install within few seconds click on it and the installation process is almost started click on yes and within few seconds it will install in your system if you want to use any browser or any other software on your operating system so that's it in the video if you like the video kindly hit the like button if you want to know anything else or you are getting some error while creating the account so you can ask me in the comment box i'll definitely reply you how can you fix it and create your account so that's it in the video see you in the next video till then goodbye